Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 4, Work and Energy. The section is 4.C, Energy Graph. Here's the scenario. Balls released from rest at a high H above the floor. Consider the system to be the ball and the earth. Air resistance can be ignored. You are now going to graph the potential energy, UG, versus distance falling, K, which, can, which is kinetic energy, versus distance falling, and the total mechanical energy versus distance falling for the system. Make sure you label all your images as well. To give you some notes, UP in this case stands for potential energy, which is UG in our problem. That equals to MGH, mass times gravity, times gravitational field strength, times height, which is the H. Kinetic energy is K equals 1 half MV squared. M stands for mass, V stands for velocity. Here, you're going to need some kinematics to help you along. Here's the first one. This is how the gravitational energy look gravitational energy looks like. It goes starting from the top and it goes to the bottom. Then you have kinetic energy. Starts from zero and go, and it goes all the way up. Then now we want to look at the total. So The total kinetic energy can be the addition of these two. If you add the potential energy at this point and the kinetic energy, it's all potential, but it's all at the top. Here at the middle, you have half potential energy, half kinetic, and if you add them up, it should look like this. That is your total energy of the system. So notice that Wherever you add these, it's still going to be the sum above there. Here's the explanation now on why this is true, because a lot of you might think that the kinetic energy, because of its one half, should be um, quadratic. Let me show you by throwing in some kinematics. You should already see that potential in the terms of distance falling is linear, mg delta y. But if you look at kinetic energy and you write in terms of the falling kinetic energy, in terms of distance, it's just mg delta y. The v squared is substituted equals to 2g delta y, and it comes from this kinematics equation here in terms of when it is in the y direction. And again, it was from rest, so the initial velocity was zero. But you should see here the kinetic energy is mg delta y, which is a linear relationship. That's why they're all lines in this case. Now we're going to do it as a function of time. So here these were a function of distance, but now I'm going to do it as a function of time. Look at the kinematics equation. I have height was essentially delta y. And that is equal to 1 half gt squared, assuming the initial velocity is 0. I got that from this kinematics equation right here, the third one. Once I plug it in, I saw it as mg 1 half gt squared. And you should see it's quadratic in nature in that relationship between the potential gravitational and the time. Kinetic energy, the v just becomes gt. That comes from here, the first one. Uh, v naught became zero, and the acceleration in the y direction is g. That's how I got v equals 2gt here. And once I plug it in, it's still gt squared, which still makes it quadratic in nature. Now if I graph it, it should look something like this. It starts, kinetic energy starts slow. Then it gradually builds up because it's quadratic. That's not good. Nope. Uh, nope. Yep, that looks better. And then I'm going to draw that is kinetic energy. That's kinetic energy. Now I'm going to give you the quadratic for the potential. 
again it starts from it has a lot of it has all gravitational energy at the start and then it decays quadratically until it goes to the bottom the total is still the addition of it so it's still going to be above here wherever it is and that is still the mechanical potential of the system all right the total mechanical energy is still a flat line on top because that is the summation of all these forces together they make up that so if you graph if you add the blue line with the red line at any point it makes up that purple line on the top same thing here okay but this was just linear when it is in terms of distance but when it's term of time it's quadratic you're going to need that to answer part b and part c Here's the answer, but before I explain it, let me go to the graph and label the point when it is at half distance fallen. At half distance falling, it is referred to this point. This is when H is equal to one half the height. Right? So when the height, uh, when H is equal to one half of the height. Okay? Notice that this is when gravity and kin kinetic energy are the same. It's half of it because half the red half right here if you look at the half here which is all k and if you add that to the blue if you add that to the blue which is the potential right you get the purple line of the total mechanic energy here's the explanation at the top of the mechanic energy is all in terms of potential energy as the object falls the potential energy is converted from potential into kinetic at half the height the total gravitational potential energy of the system is also half the conversion between gravitational potential and kinetic is directly proportional it's mean it's one to one since the total mechanic energy of the system remains constant during the entire time the other half of the energy is in terms of kinetic what i mean by the last statement is this part half half let's get you the total all right now the last part now is the same thing but now it's half of time and let's see where it should work half of time is right here all right this is when t is equal to one half big t Ooh, this is very interesting look it is this is how much kinetic energy is and look at how much potential was just try and put it on the side okay there's a lot of potential compared to kinetic and here's the explanation half the time there is still more potential energy than kinetic energy both the gravitational and kinetic energy are quadratic in nature when it is in terms of time the energy the energy rate of change will start off slow then increase over time you should see there right there at t equals to one half t the system has more potential energy than kinetic because the ball is not yet at the halfway part due to the quadratic nature of the term it's valid because you see u is still higher than k when it's t equals to half. Since the ball is not yet at one half h, there's still um, it is still above one half h, meaning that there is more potential energy than kinetic energy. Therefore, leaving less than half the total mechanical energy in forms of kinetic. You see right there, less than half of the system is in terms of kinetic energy. Okay so just there you go those are your solutions let me just mark this this was less than half and this was exactly half all right but you should see where it comes from in terms of the energy chart and you should be confident with these conversions using the kinematics but there you go those are your solutions for forcing